Grace and peace. Welcome to Spreading Truth Ministry, and thank you so much for listening. Today, today, we're going to talk about GLOs, yes, Greek Lettered Organizations. I think it's time. I haven't done a video on GLOs, but I definitely think it's time. Um, the organizations have been around for quite some time. We're going to focus on the Divine Nine, and I just think it's time. Again, this is, this is um, again, focusing on believers those that are non-believers, I mean, you can, you know, feel free to listen, but the, this is, um, this presentation is focused on believers. So believers that may have, um, you know, they, they may be considering, you know, becoming a part or affiliated with these organizations, or they're already affiliated, but maybe, you know, on, maybe on the inside, they're struggling with some of, of the common So that's what this organization, I mean, this particular presentation is about um, the GLOs. And again, see the reference section for more information if you're interested. The Divine Nine um, is simply an extension of its parent organization, which is the Freemasons and the Eastern Stars. The founders were members of these particular organizations, and so that's why you'll see a lot of the similarities between the two in terms of the rituals and the ceremonies. You know, each Again, talking about the pros and cons, we're going to focus on the cons. And each GLO represents an idol from the Finks to the men. So if you look at the list there um, in the picture, you'll notice that each, literally each organization has, I don't know if you want to call it a mascot, but there's a spirit behind each organization and it's labeled there specifically what it is. And so, and so clearly, clearly this is the violation of the first commandment found in Exodus the 20 chapter verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods be for you or before me. Um, again, and there are several other scriptures that discuss idolatry and how God is obviously against idolatry and encourages people not to get caught into idolatry. And so it's important to understand that as a believer that this is not something that is suggested by God, but it, it is commanded by God. Also, you'll see in 2 Corinthians the 6, chapter, verse 16, it asks a question, what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? When you make an oath or a covenant, you're in an agreement. So if these particular organizations are represented by idols, when you make an oath to the organization, you're indeed making an oath with the idol that the organization represents. So we have to understand exactly what it is that we're doing. In addition, in the chapter, verses 32 to 34, talks about for swearing to thyself and not swearing at all. So we as believers, we're not supposed to swear. We're not supposed to make oaths and things of that nature. Some of the pros consist of the community service, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the elite association. You know, most people are really, you know, like, wow, you know, this particular person is an elite person. They have a lot of power in the world system. And so therefore, I want to be affiliated and connected with them. Um, however, the people of God, we don't need to be connected to the world in order to have favor, okay, in order to have good networking and connections. The Bible tells us that we are chosen. We're a chosen generation. We're a royal priesthood. We're a holy nation. So we don't have to go that route in order to have that. So just, I just wanted to kind of, you know, let people understand that, that you really don't have to. Nor can they block your blessings. Nobody, nobody in this world can block your blessings unless God sanctions it. So it's, it's important to know that. So if you're a believer and you're interested in denouncing, I, I did provide information about how to go about it, what it is, what's involved, and I also indicated you know, some of the reasons why one would consider denouncing, which to me would be good reasons. I mean, there are seven in total, but I'm sure there's a lot of other reasons that are not listed, and I got this from a particular website. But I think the most important things is the connection to the Freemasons and the idolatry. You know, the fact that they're swearing and the fact that these particular organizations are actually secret societies. They have their secrets and, you know, again, these are patterned after their parent organization. And so um, it's just, in my opinion, not for the people of God. 
Um, well, it's not my opinion, but I guess the word of God also speaks to it that it's not for the people of God. God teaches against it, discourages it, it, it commands you not to do it. So in my opinion, it is kind of clear cut. It's kind of forward. But for whatever the reason, not everybody sees it that way. And that's fine because you know what? At the end of the day, it is God that gives the understanding. So my prayer is that you would receive understanding because just because you didn't receive the understanding when you first um, initiated or you first pledged doesn't mean that God is not showing you something today. And, and, you know, you may not have understood in the fullness when you first did it, but now your, your walk has become closer with God. And what's amazing about God is that though we do these things, sometimes, you know, God will still be present, you know, in our lives, trying to get us, you know, trying to get our attention. Like he doesn't cut us off immediately. That's the grace of God and the mercy of God. And so let us not take those things for granted that just because he didn't cut you off immediately after you pledged to another child of the Bible. Okay, let's just keep it 100. Um, you know, just because he didn't cut you off immediately doesn't mean that it's okay for you to be a part of it. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. So God bless you. Not trying to stir up no strife. I just want the people of God to understand that we are not to be connected or associated or we're not to be affiliated with idols. We're not to make an agreement with idols. We're not supposed to do that. And so read, pray, ask God to show you the light, um, you know, and he will do that. He would do just that. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time. Shalom.